Hi everyone and happy Halloween to you all. Hope you're all enjoying the spooky season and the festivities. In today's reading, in line with the theme of Halloween, we're going to take a look and see what big, dark, scary, spooky secrets is your person keeping from you, okay? Um, what is it that they're holding back? What is it that you need to know? Are they being honest with you? Are they being truthful with you? Or is there something that you should know that they aren't necessarily telling you? There's also going to be a part two to this reading. And in part two, you guessed it, we're just going to follow on with the messages. Maybe go into more depth and detail. Part two is going to be made available to everyone via the extension link below. Also, as this is a general reading, if you are after a personalized reading, one in which the messages are going to be tailored specifically to you and your situation, feel free to reach out. My email address is also going to be included just below the video. Otherwise, let's go ahead. I want you to take a moment. I want you to um, you know, focus on your person and we'll see what secrets they're keeping from you, if any at all. Okay, let's let's go ahead with these cards, these messages. The thing is, they are keeping secrets from you. I mean, mind you, they're not, you know, they're not all keeping the same secrets. But I definitely see that there are certain things that this person is uh, keeping to themselves. Okay, certain secrets that they're holding on to, certain secrets that they feel that they need to really fiercely guard and protect. Um, they, it could be, you know, someone else has confided in your person and um, has opened up to them and has asked them not to tell anyone, okay, to really, you know, uh, guard and protect this other person's secrets and maybe this person feels like they have a duty to do so. So there's definitely, um, you know, whether you want to call it secrets, whether you want that want to call it like them withholding information from you, them holding back from you, them, you know, not openly sharing with you. It does feel like um, they do, you know, they spend some time exploring some of these secrets um, or perhaps even at time, you know, at times thinking that this is something that they have to open up to you. Uh, there's definitely this, and I think there's also this energy of them being weighed down by, you know, some of the secrets that they keep from you. What I find really interesting is the weight in the energies here. So whatever it is that they're holding back from you, whatever it is that they're not sharing with you, that they you know, they feel like they can't necessarily come to you with, it's definitely uh, taxing, okay? It's definitely mentally taxing. It's definitely emotionally taxing on their energy. What it also is doing is clouding this person's perception. It, it could be clouding this person's um, judgment, um, it could be clouding their, uh, you know, perception in general, perception about you, about the connection that they share with you, about what the future holds. Uh, I feel like there's high stakes involved as well, which is interesting. I think that, you know, whatever it is that they're holding back from you, and we will explore exactly what that is, I feel like there's high stakes, you know, and this is why they're going to extreme lengths to conceal this, um, because they have some... They definitely have some worrying thoughts. This is something that they feel they should share with you, but they're scared to share with you, okay? Because what whatever this is, they feel like it potentially could change things between you, okay? It potentially could alter things. It could drastically change how you see them, and it might potentially mean that you might turn around and want to put an end to this situation. Um, this Whatever it is, I feel like it's getting in the way of, you know, 
you and your person and it's getting in the way of uh, their relationship your relationship with this person I think this is you know I, I see that there is someone here obsessing okay it is an energy of this person like obsessing about something negative about a negative thought um, and also about the risks that this secret involves and you know the, the high stakes um, they potentially could be sharing it with someone else okay so they may not openly tell you what you know what secrets they're guarding but they could potentially uh, to sort of relieve this burden because it is a very weighty energy so to sort of you know stop them from stop the secret from keeping them down I feel like they potentially could be revealing it to someone else it could be a close friend it could be a close friend close connecting energy I am getting a feminine energy so um, it could be like a parental figure uh, you know a sister a, a close friend um, and I think it's just their way of you know coping with the stress it's just their way uh, of coping with it Okay, um, you know, there's a few things that are coming to mind, okay, given the multitude of the swords here, you've got the devil alongside it, you've got the seven of pentacles in reverse, which definitely indicates this imbalance, and then of course the, you know, um, the moon's energy brings such a nervous kind of energy, such an anxious kind of energy, I feel like, okay, now for some of you, I feel like the person that you're involved with, with I do see that there's some sort of extra relational thoughts in this person's energy so they potentially could be thinking about someone else so they could be with you but they find their mind drifting and wandering over to someone else could be an ex the devil typically and often does represent an ex in a reading could be someone else that they find themselves attracted to okay someone else that they work with someone else that um, you know that's in their circle or that they know uh, there could be um, there could be other sexual activities that this person is keeping from you. Okay, so um, for some it is this extra relational thoughts. Uh, it could be like these sexual activities that they keep secret from you. Okay, just because they're not comfortable to open up and share this with you yet. So it could be like certain fetishes, um, things like that. Right. Um, There's also this romantic desire that I see in this person's energy, okay? So they might potentially have, you know, those extra relational thoughts that we spoke about. They could have an attraction or you know, um, like a sexual desire towards someone else or a crush with whom I don't think they've acted on it, okay? It's just that they feel guilty for feeling this way. It could be an ex, um, could be someone that they knew, could be someone that they recently met. Um, for some, I also see that there was some sort of violation of trust, okay, and uh, this person somehow violated, like they broke your trust, and maybe you don't know about this yet, for others, maybe this is something you know about, but it just feels like, you know, uh, maybe they went through your phone, they checked up on your messages, or, or maybe this is you, because I'm picking up someone's energy as if they violated someone's trust, um, you know, things like borrowing something from someone, going through someone's phone, you know, checking someone's mail, that kind of energy. Um, there's also emotional infidelity that I'm seeing in the energies. So they may be emotionally involved with someone who isn't you, okay? Uh, with someone other than yourself. And they could be developing an uh, intimate friendship with this person okay and this stretches beyond your connection with this person now this could be you okay they may find themselves developing a intimate uh, you know intimate feelings for you and an intimate friendship with you and they find themselves flirting with you or being emotionally uh, involved with you even though they're in a relationship with someone else or even though you know they're seeing someone else or talking to someone else and this might be something that you are aware of it may be something that you are not aware of, okay? So this person is married or this person is in a relationship to someone else, but they are developing some very strong, um, you know, emotions for you, some very strong feelings, uh, sexual feelings, uh, a, a strong desire to be with you, to connect with you. Um, but it, I definitely feel like, you know, the power that this secret holds, okay, so there's this energy, Hierophant energy is them wanting to confess, Okay, them wanting to confess the secret because they know that the power the secret holds is um, pretty, you know, it's pretty big. Um, and they know that, like, their energy feels like it's hijacked by the secret that they keep, okay? 
So whether they're keeping the secret with you or whether they're keeping it from you, their power, their um, energy is really consumed by it and their energy is really hijacked by it. And it's kind of, you know, they have, there's this energy of them wanting to confess to you, tell you the truth, tell you that they're attracted to someone else or they're seeing someone else or they're involved with someone else or even they've been disloyal with someone else, okay? Or they've broken your trust in one shape or form or they may even want out of the connection, okay? This person might, you know, um, they may have been leading you on, they may have, been appeasing you throughout the connection but maybe a relationship is something that they're not necessarily ready for okay there's definitely some things that i feel like it's like this bomb okay it's like this truth bomb that they will drop on you and they know that it has uh, it can be pretty damaging is what i'm trying to say there are some dark secrets that i feel like your person is keeping from you okay and some of these secrets could come from childhood okay it could be details from their childhood so that's not to say you know that they've been disloyal or that they broke your trust in any way shape or form but there could be some internal struggles that this person has been affected by you know to date and this is something that they're just not comfortable sharing this with you they want to you know they want to open up and they want to tell you what's going on um but it feels like this person is really still hurt by it and it feels like this is something that they're really not comfortable sharing just yet okay these childhood struggles or this situation it's definitely taken a toll on this person in varying ways um you know they may have your person might also have low self-esteem they may come across as someone who has you know high self-esteem but this this person that you're involved with um you know they may seem very nice and safe and the relationship might seem very supportive and even convenient but your person could be struggling with a lot of insecurities okay with a lot of um with the shadow aspects of themselves and the shadow aspects of this relationship and this is something that they're not necessarily telling um not sharing this with you there's some sort of confidential information okay so if you want to call it a secret it could be a dark secret okay um, it could also you know be interpreted as confidential information but it does feel like some of these things that they're holding on to literally they've never told anyone okay they've never shared this with anyone before whilst other things i feel like they've openly shared with other people simply you know for that uh, to help manage with the stress but some of it it's just been with them for so long since childhood days that they've never been um open to talk about it okay it could be something you know it could be something about maybe their declining mental health it could be something about them you know uh being prone to addictions in the past but this is something that here's the thing that they become or they've become really good at hiding it okay so whether it is a fear that they're hiding from you or this dark secret that they're hiding from you they've become really good at hiding this from you for others, I think you should know that your person is comparing you to an ex, okay? Your person is constantly comparing you and the relationship to, to the ex. Now, this might not necessarily be news to you because you might be very well aware, aware of this, but I see that it's like there's this constant comparison and it's draining. It's draining for you and it's draining for them and it's just not healthy, honestly. It's this constant comparison and it's making you feel depressed. It's even making them feel depressed, but it's like... I see someone's trying to, like, it's like you have to pay for this person's or for their ex past mistakes, and it's just not fair. Um, you know, your person is keeping dark thoughts or feelings from you, and it's not because they're trying to be secretive. I think it's also that they're trying to protect you, okay? They're afraid of, like, unloading too much. So, you know, if it is that something about their addictions or the, some of their fears or insecurities, this person is, you know, they just don't want to offload too much. Um, I see that this person has a dark past, okay? The person that you're dealing with may have a dark past and may have been involved with the wrong people in the past. Um, and that, that has taken them down the wrong path. I feel like there's, a, there's an energy of the ex and it's present. Either this person really resents the ex for the way that the ex has hurt your person and the way that they've broke up with their person or the way that they've treated her i just think this person i see that there is um the relationship prior to the connection you have with this person has really broke down in a very um, unhealthy way um a 
I'm also seeing like this fear, this fear of your person being unable to express deep emotional intimacy, okay? And it's not that they don't want to, it's just that they feel that they can't maintain deep emotional connections or deep emotional intimacies with anyone or they haven't been able to do that in the past and they're afraid that they won't be able to develop a deep connection with you, which is why they go cold or distant, which is why they sometimes act very strange or very unusual, you know, um, why they might be very inconsistent, like one day they're really into you, the next day they pull away. I did mention that for some of you, your person might be hiding the secret that they want out of this relationship and have been doing so for quite some time. So they feel, and you know, especially, this is especially true if this person has been in and out of the relationship, okay? Um, if they're like this constant fluctuating presence, then understand that this person wants out. Um, they've been planning their goodbyes, they've been planning, you know, to, to put an end to this connection for quite some time, but they can't pull away because it's addictive, okay? It's unhealthy, but it's addictive. It's like this, you know, addiction, this addictive habit that can't be kicked, and there's this codependency and co-reliancy on one another, and there's this attachment, not a healthy attachment, an unhealthy attachment, but this is why you guys keep coming back to you, to each other, um, so I'm going to leave it at that and in part two we're just going to explore whether your person is going to open up okay and share this dark secret or secrets that they're keeping from you or perhaps should you approach them okay should you be the one to sort of initiate the conversation um, and you know try to sit down and have a talk with them so we'll go ahead and explore that in part two um, and we might see exactly you know try and get more of a concise clear idea of this secret that they're holding on to so follow me via the extension link below um, thank you guys again so much for your time, your energy and your attention. Bye for now.